Hi guys, it's a beautiful day here at Scalp Logic, and Danny is in the hot seat today. Hi, Danny. How are you doing? Right. doing pretty good. Awesome, awesome. Sorry, a little corny over here. But uh, we just wanted to ask you a couple questions about hair loss in general. And um, when did you start losing your hair? I started losing my hair when I was 16. So, uh, yeah, almost 10 years ago. And through that process, were you, what were you looking for? Like, did you think, am I going to try to find a solution? Were you comfortable what was going on? I mean, what was kind of happening in your head? Yeah, it was um, really shocking to have it um, happen so young. And I uh, went through the motions of getting prescribed um, some of the medicine to help along with using Rogaine. And I just didn't really see that much progress, even though I was using it um, as directed. So I let kind of let my hair go over the years. And I... Um, revisited the topic of getting, you know, some hair back and SMP shut up. Awesome, awesome. And did you ever like look towards hair transplants? Did you uh, take any type of vitamins? Because I mean, on average, we hear so many clients that did absolutely everything from unicorn speed, I'm just kidding, vitamins, whatever it takes to try to see if anything would work. Did you see any type of results with what you tried? Yeah, I well, I did do biotin for some time. Unfortunately, it only grew up the hair that I already had in the back. Okay. So, if anything, it just made me have to get haircuts more often. Uh -huh. um, and I did try some Nioxin shampoo, and once again, I really didn't see many results, even over like six months or a year. Okay. And so, ultimately, what led you to SMP? Was it something on the internet? Um, did you hear about it from a friend? I remember seeing um, just a video on YouTube. Um, it was a journalist doing it, and he just gave his testimonial and um, the background, and it seemed seemed interesting. And then um, me living in Los Angeles, I was able to you know um, find some local people here that did it, and I landed on um, you guys here at Scalp Logic and. Um, decided just to go to dive right into it and go for it. Awesome. What about any type of um, any fears that you had with doing this procedure or in general? Yeah, I don't. Um, I don't have any other body tattoos, um, so this is the first kind of ink I'm having in my on my skin. Mm -hmm. So I was a little scared about that, but of course, after seeing the photos from past clients and hearing their experiences and um, just researching it through the internet, I just figured it was the right thing for me to do. Yeah, we have so many clients. I, I would honestly say, what do you think, Joe, about maybe 70% of our clients, like it's a very high number number that don't have any tattoos. This is their first tattoo. Yeah, I'll go with that, about 70%. About 70% would be like an yeah. accurate number, yeah, right? Pretty accurate. Yeah, yeah, and you're right, in the stigma of yes. the body of tattoo definitely is a hurdle to hop over for most guys. Yeah, absolutely. I didn't get mine until seven years after that. I was the same in the in the same boat, but night and day difference. Night yes. and day difference. Body art tattoo and SP, not the same. And I think that's the problem is that a lot of the times on the internet, nobody understands that. It's kind of like, okay, well it's it's a tattoo like you would get on your arm, but it's nothing like that. No. I mean there's it's just there there's no uh, besides using the word tattoo, it's it's nothing similar to that. It's at a much more what we would say, uh micro level, superficial, superficial level. Yeah. So, awesome. Well, thank you for sharing your experience with us. We appreciate it.